You may have recently heard of black Libyans being sold as slaves, or maybe not. Well, you can thank America and the West for that. This comes to no surprise, especially for those who've been listening to the Honorable Minister Farrakhan, who had already warned the world exactly what they were planning to do several years ago. No, you don't want to save the Libyan people. That's your noble motive to hide your wicked agenda. Now, I want to warn you. America has a documented history of funding and arming dissident rebel groups in order to take down targeted leaders and countries. And what the CIA does is go into a country and move among the people that are dissatisfied to stimulate a revolt against a leader that they don't like because they want regime change. But the U.S.-backed killing of Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi destabilized Africa's progress toward independence because Gaddafi led an independent African Muslim nation and was leading other African countries away from European control. In fact, he stated in his revolutionary Green Book, now is the turn of the black race to reemerge. Black people will prevail in the world. Gaddafi was so revolutionary that he promised the wealth of Libya to help the nation of Islam help black people in America. But the U.S. Congress passed sudden laws to prevent Minister Farrakhan and the Muslims from being able to receive any aid from this African country to help black people in America. Fact. The same government that has always worked to destroy progressive black organizations and leaders is the same government that still deliberately blocks necessary resources from helping black people become independent. So Gaddafi was moving Africa away from white Western control, and they hated that. So the West funded and armed the Arab rebels who had hatred for Gaddafi and who had hatred for the African Muslims who loved him. With America's support, these Arabs wiped out an entire town, tens of thousands of black African Muslims in Tawarga after Libya was toppled. This was a blatant act of genocide against black African, against Muslims, and we heard virtually nothing in the mainstream media about it until somewhat recently. Now we want to act surprised and distraught after Minister Farrakhan had already warned us of what Western leaders had planned. Watch for the vultures of London, England, and France, and others trying to rebuild the infrastructure that they purposely destroyed. This is the result of America and white powers meddling in Africa's affairs. You're a liar and a hypocrite. And I warn my brother, don't you let these wicked demons move you in a direction that will absolutely ruin your future with your people in Africa and throughout the world. They don't like the way. The Honorable Minister Farrakhan was warning us for decades about the war against black people and the Muslim world, and now we see the results. The genocide and enslavement of black people. Presidents that have met with their Joint Chiefs of Staff to plan a war in the Islamic world and to plan a war against black people and particularly black youth and we're at the end of it now the plan is to genocide and kill you all listen to me good now the war against Islam is real and it's inherently tied to the war against black people here in America